the assignment. Don't they come around quickly? Monday is assignment day, where stage, TV and film actor Bill Ward and fine photographer, my walking partner from Friday's episode number 352, sets a photography challenge or a way to think about your picture making for the next week. If you listened to that edition, you may already have worked out what this assignment is likely to ask you to do. It's a challenge for everyone, whatever kind of photography interests you, whatever camera you hold, DSLR or large format or mirrorless compact smartphone, it's all about the picture you see. Now, I was about to say this may be trickier with a smartphone, but of course there are apps that enable you to have better control over a phone's camera. But uh, no more spoilers. I'll let Bill set the assignment in a moment. As always, there's a show page on the website, photowalk.show, and I'd love you to share the pictures you make for this challenge, which I can then upload to the show page for this edition. And you can check back, of course, to see pictures from previous shows too. And before we meet Bill, my thanks to our wonderful patrons and to mpb.com, who sponsor this show, the number one company in the UK, the US and Europe, with bases in Brighton and Brooklyn and Berlin when it comes to buying, selling and trading used camera kit online. It's a safe place to do business, guarantees upon what you buy, and of course you'll be part of the circular economy, which is ever more important as we talk about sustainability. A look ahead to the photo walk this week, and my guest is Derek Katani, who's going to talk about photographing the World Cup. Now, as I said on Friday when I mentioned this first, I know that not everybody is into football or soccer, as my other listener will call it, but you'll find uh, Derek's stories talk as much about achieving, and you'll have to forgive the pun I am shamelessly about to use, Derek's stories talk as much about achieving personal goals as they do about the game itself. From practically sharing an office with the legendary Sir Alf Ramsey, to dodging bottles and other missiles while trying to focus on the pitch ahead of him during some of the game's darkest times of hooliganism. It's human stories on Friday. So, let's meet our guest for today, setting you a challenge for the new week. It's Bill Ward. The assignment. Bill, it would be amiss of me if we didn't do an assignment with you, and there seems to be a very glaringly obvious one to do with you. Um, so for the next seven days, a challenge, something, a different way for some people to think about their photography. And I dare say, because I haven't properly um, tried this form of photography before, there will be some, I know there's some of our number that have and show this wonderful, beautiful work when they, they share it with us on the, the show pages. But I want you to set an assignment that's, that's dear to the, the heart, the way that you, you enjoy photographing, certainly in nature and what I've seen as we've made our walk today. Intentional camera movement yes. is the assignment. Yeah. Just a suggestion, which is have a go at intentional camera movement and start with anything you'd like. You can choose any subject, but choose a subject that resonates with you. So it doesn't have to be nature? No. It can be anything. Mm. I've, I started with a lot of intentional camera movement. Actually, one of the first intentional camera movement photographs I took was of grass on the side of a motorway. Oh, really? Yeah. You weren't broken down thinking, what <laughs> shall I do for the next half hour? <laughs> no, I used to walk past it on the oh, way to right, work when okay. I was filming Emmerdale. Yeah, yeah. and, uh, and I've done loads of intentional camera movement in cities. Horses, dandelions, um, yeah. all, so all, so all sorts of stuff. Find something that resonates with you and something to which you find yourself drawn and have a go with intentional camera movement and for me intentional camera movement works in terms of getting to the essence of a place a time a feeling getting under the skin of a subject or a place or wherever you happen to be and so choose something something that resonates with you as an individual yeah. as, a, as a as a human being choose something it could be a flower it could be a dog it could be mm -hmm. a car or something or anything and make it the subject of your project an icm project and for for those of you who who haven't tried icm before icm is intentional camera, camera movement, movement yeah. and all you need is to move your camera 
intentionally to blur the photograph and that's all you need to do so any shutter speed less than the 20th of a second should be able to do it if it's a moving subject you might find a 50th of a 16th of a second if you're wondering a good place to start or a, a, a half a second is often a, a useful place to start but just because you start there it doesn't necessarily mean that you may finish there you can try shorter shutter speeds longer shutter speeds you name it yeah. the specific object that you might choose or, or subject that you might choose might suit a much longer one and think of your camera as a paintbrush and, and think of sort of dabbing bits of sky in maybe or just going along the contours of a thing look for contrast look for sharp edges or even look for just mixing colors together i one of the first projects i did was on autumn but it was not on the leaves of autumn or on tree trunks but the colors of autumn just mixing the colors of autumn together in quite an abstract way so there's all sorts of different things that you can do choose a subject that is dear to your heart and have a go how much movement i mean i have watched you today it's not as if you're waving the camera around like you're waving goodbye to your favorite friend it's gentle isn't it it's it's it, it's considered or is that the wrong it, it can be anything right. and is is the so honest it can be a big wave yes it right. can okay. and if i was at the beach yeah. and i'm go just about to show you what i was if i was at the beach i'd be doing long sweeping oh my word like this, yeah and taking a bit of sky and, yeah. And, uh, yeah. but specifically almost because, like you're throwing a frisbee yes yeah, so yeah. almost yeah backhanded exactly yeah. right and and, and I might take in a little bit of this I'm with the camera to the right, up in the sky, sometimes slightly yeah. behind me, uh, that kind of a thing. Sometimes it just depends where you are. And one of the reasons I've been doing quite small movements in the forest is because you're surrounded by a lot of visual information. Yeah. And so you're t I'm trying to, often with it, I'm trying to contain the scope of the photograph and, and using smaller movements in the forest because of the wealth of visual information around than you would at with a seascape yeah. maybe where you've got sort of uh, horizon lines and much less sort of detailed information in the foreground with um, a sort of sweeping arcs of, of waves coming in so in that kind of way I would be much more sort of a, a larger in terms of movement probably on a seascape than I probably would be in a forest so I would experiment and see what you get one of the things I love about ICM is there just are no rules there is only you invent your own movements there are you can do twists you can do flips yeah. you can do little judders you can put all of those together all sorts of interesting stuff so invent your own moves um, make your own pictures see how you get on yeah good luck I don't know whether you knew this by the way that uh, in some parts of Europe now where it's become illegal to do street photography where you where you show people or their faces intentional camera movement has become the get out of jail card oh yeah no. Austria is one place, for example, you can't photograph people without their permission. Yeah. So street photography is, for all intent and purposes, it's just not happening. No. So the way to get by it is by making these intentional camera movement pictures of the street, which worries me to an extent in the in 30, 40, 50, 60 years, who knows, we'll be looking back at a certain point in history thinking <laughs> that nothing nothing in Austria was, was standing we're still. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, it's uh, we're laughing, but it's I think it's quite a serious thing. Yeah, yeah, and and that you, uh, 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 yeah, and there won't be any documentary no, record of no. it. Yeah, although the the Austrians, if there were a World Cup of uh, intentional camera movement, I would expect they would top the charts. It sounds like it. I, I haven't. I need to investigate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Aus, uh, Austrian, Austrian intentional yeah, camera, camera movement. movement yeah. yeah, it sounds like a, a proper a movement. Yeah, but what you're saying is go have fun, make some art. Yeah, yeah, absolutely absolutely and make art that you enjoy yeah. and make it personal make it art that speaks to you and that's our challenge for this week i'll be delighted to see what you produce and would love to share them on today's corresponding show page on photowalk.show music on the show is from artlist.io neil ford emily renier and andrea gilpin thank you for your support work behind the scenes and I look forward to photographing with you, hearing from you and talking with you on the photo wall. The assignment is a loading zone production.